Okay, welcome back. We will have to continue with uh, the design, the analysis and optimization. So let me first draw the shaft. Huh? Let's say we got a shaft and at the end we have the two wheel. And this is the wheel diameter. And uh, this is the shaft diameter. Let's focus on the shaft diameter. Shaft diameter, there are two parameters. One is the material of the shaft. And I want to show that how are they related. La. The other is the calculation. So let's say I want to calculate. I want to determine the shaft diameter. I need to calculate something. What do I need to calculate? Uh, in our course, we calculate the design stress. So the symbol for design stress uh, is sigma. Sigma is written like that, a, a dot and a teeth, sigma, sigma D, standing for design. Now for the material, material, we, we have a material property, we call it the U stress. Uh, you have studied this in year one, U stress. And the U stress is written as sigma Y S. Now, how are these two related? Uh? Let's understand use stress first. Uh. Use stress, uh, please refer to your slides. Refer to your slide 6A. Slide 6A. Refer to your slide 6A. You realize that, uh, let's say, assume this material we use is aluminum. And aluminum from the table, you will realize that you have a U stress of 458 mega Pascal. Uh, let me see whether I can show you where this data is taken from. See, in your in your slides, uh, you have this page like that. Slides, this is a page number. And this is the A, B, C, D. So you go to page 6. Uh. And you come across this table. That's where we got the number from. Now let's say we calculated the use design stress. You call it design stress. Uh, to be 50 megapascal. Now this 50 megapascal, I assume in this case because I did no calculation now. So let's assume the after calculating, you got this number. So how are these two related? They are related by a term called factor of safety. Yeah? Factor of safety. Just think about it intuitively. Eh? Now, this, this column is the design stress, means that uh, what is required. And this is the material. Material means uh, what you have. You build the material, you have that. So what you have must always be bigger than what you require. Otherwise, you'll break. Eh? Just like uh, this is the amount of money you have, and this is the amount of money you're going to spend. So let's say factor of safety, I call it FS. Well, it has to be sigma stress over sigma design. In this case, I will have 4, 5, 8 over 50. And using the calculator, I will get a value of 9.16. So 
So that's how uh, the design stress and the material property are related. Now let's go to the fifth phase. Uh. Fifth phase is evaluation. Evaluation. In this phase is the main thing in this phase is that I need to build a prototype. And why do I need to build a prototype? Obviously, I want to test the prototype. You build the prototype to be tested, lah. not to keep it and have a look. Lah. Now, you test it. What are we really want to test it for? Very important. First thing. Is it able to do what it is designed for? I mean, common sense, is it? You don't build something and then say you can do that, but you must be sure you test it to make sure they can do what it's designed for. After that, we have to learn that is there any better alternatives? Any better alternatives I can find? Again, ease of maintenance. Ease of, sorry, ease of assembly. Do I need to improve the design further? Uh, maintenance. And all this must lead to one thing which is called improvement. Is there any improvement required to the design? Uh? Now, the sixth phase or the final phase uh, in all things that you do, uh, you have to come back to the last one. It's called presentation. This phase is simply sell the product. That's the main thing, sell the product. Uh, don't forget that while you sell the product, in the process, you also sell your seller, your idea, yourself, your character, your behavior. Now, these are the six phases of the design. And uh, I'll just say in short, these are the six phases. First, there has to be a need, recognition of the need. Then you definition of the problem. Come to the synthesis phase, the most difficult part which is the analysis and optimization, which of course is all about. Thereafter, you do an evaluation. And finally, is the presentation. Now, we come to the end of topic one. Thank you. And I will see you guys again in topic two. Bye and have a nice day.